Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to connect into the main fuel tank sender unit on a Puget Boxer 2017 model. Similar models would be a Fiat Ducato and a Citroen Relay or a Ram Promaster. A couple of things to do before we start. We need to disconnect the main vehicle battery and remove the pressure fuel cap externally. The access cover is located on the floor between the driver and the passenger seat. Now using a flat head screwdriver undo the three retaining clips. Once the cover is removed it's a good idea to vacuum any debris that may be on top of the black cover. With three retaining screws we need to remove these to give access to the fuel sender unit. Once the cover is off you'll see in front now you have uh, four connections. The top connection at the 12 o'clock position uh, has an 8mm retaining nut. You need to remove this. Uh, it can be a little bit tight getting off, but just bear with it. It's got a uh, rubber ring around it. Next jobs to do are to remove the fuel flow and return pipes. Carefully undo the yellow clips and also undo the electrical connection. Once the pipes have all been removed along with the electrical connection, place them to one side carefully. Please ignore the metal pickup pipe uh, as you see in front. I'll explain that in a moment. Next, we're going to place our uh, fuel sender removal tool onto the outside edge of the fuel sender unit. Um, you can improvise without this tool, but there is a possibility of actually damaging the outer area of the sender unit and it'll be expensive to replace. Turn the ratchet anti-clockwise and you'll feel the actual sender unit springing up. The tool can now be removed away from the sender unit. Carefully lift up the sender unit and make sure there's no door to debris that can get down into the main tank. The position of the pickup pipe has to be exactly as in the photo shown because if you don't have it in that position, you will not get the return and flow pipes and the electrical connection back on to the original positions. So it's very important you place it in the exact position that's shown in the picture. We need to make sure before we drill the hole in the center unit for the metal pipe that we have a tissue underneath so that no debris uh, from the plastic gets into the fuel system. Using a 3mm drill bit, drill a pilot hole followed by an 8mm drill bit which will allow the metal pipe to be fitted. Place the metal pipe then into the 8mm hole and on the underside using the washer and 13mm nuts supplied tighten it up into the position as shown in the picture. Using the black uh, hose supplied connect that to the underside of the uh, fuel pickup pipe, tighten it with a jubilee clip and the opposite end there you have the blue 4mm pipe going into the black pipe. Again tighten that with uh, the Jubilee clip. The blue 4mm pipe now, now needs to be placed into the sender unit reservoir. Careful where you place this so you don't uh, cause any issue with any other wiring or um, fittings inside. Make sure now the rubber o-ring on the underside of the sender unit is sitting in its position correctly and place the sender unit back in to the tank. It'll only go into one position and you'll feel it when you push down on the spring mechanism. Now place the tank sender unit uh, tool back in place. A little bit of downward pressure and tighten in a clockwise position. Not over tight but just so you know it's secure. Now carefully refit your flow and return connections, your yellow and your blue clip and your electrical connection along with the uh, 8mm nut which houses the breeder pipe. Fit the um, right angled rubber black hose along with a jubilee clip onto the metal pipe and tighten. Using now your 4mm external blue pipe connect that into the black pipe and tighten with a jubilee clip. It's normally about 2 meters long the distance between the outlet here at the fuel sender unit to your diesel heater fuel pump. For extra protection I actually encased the 4mm blue pipe in the some 10mm uh, split conduit. I then ran the 2m uh, length between the top of the fuel tank and the underside of the vehicle. On the underside of the vehicle 
I utilised some uh, clips that were already in situ for other wiring. This keeps everything nice and tidy and a professional finish. I then connected the 4mm pipe to the diesel pump supplied with the diesel heater. The underside of the diesel heater back towards the diesel pump I utilised the 10mm conduit to give extra protection. Now refit the uh, black uh, cover using the three retaining uh, screws. There is a soft rubber o-ring underneath the black cover. Make sure you have this in place as it'll stop any noise coming through from the road. Refit the uh, external access cover using a flathead screwdriver. Tighten and secure. Job is finished now. To prime your diesel heater, follow the recommended manufacturer's instructions depending on the make and model you have. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.